Hey, what's up guys? It's Angelo with The Art of Canine. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about two dogs fighting in the in my home. personal opinion, um, I've been doing this for a while now, over 10 years. In my personal opinion, when two dogs are fighting in the home, this is one of the hardest cases to work on. And the reason for that is because you have to warn your client beforehand, no matter what type of training the dog goes through, there's a chance that it might not work out. You can't force two dogs to like each other. It's just impossible. You could have them coexist, but they you can't force them to like each other. Just end of story. There's nothing anyone can do to get two dogs to love each I'm other. I'm not saying that these dogs can't live a peaceful life again. They could coexist. They could be around each other. They might have to be muzzled, right? But um, you, you can't get them to to just be free around each other and not be there to monitor the situation. Um, you have to warn the client, like I said, that, that there's a chance this might not work out. So this, this per like whoever you are, you're gonna be spending a lot of money to do this properly and, and put a gamble on that money. There's a 50% chance of this working That's out. If you have a good trainer, the 50% chance is if your trainer does everything right. If you have two dogs that have gone at each other and have done damage, there's a process that needs to happen. It's a simple process. There's no need to overcomplicate things, but everything has to be done and it has to be done properly. First step, if two dogs are not getting along, they have to be muzzle conditioned. And I'm not talking about having them put on a muzzle for a second and be okay with that. They have to be okay living in that muzzle for a while, eating, drinking, just being in that muzzle all day long. This is a high level muzzle conditioning. Next thing that needs to happen is both dogs need to be trained to a very high degree. You need to be able to have ultimate control over these dogs, not only in the house, but in public settings. So generalization of the commands that they learn is extremely important. Third thing is you have to have the proper training tools to correct these dogs. The training tool that you use to correct your dog has to be fast and it has to be efficient. Meaning that if they, if they do start to get into to a fight, and you're across the room, you have to be able to communicate to them. The only tool on the market, right, that effectively does this from a distance is an e-collar. Don't go out there and strap e-collars on your dogs if they're not getting along and try to correct them, right? The situation might become worse. They might think the stimulation is coming from the other dog. To have this happen, a professional needs to help you and the dog has to be highly conditioned to that e-collar. So they know exactly how to turn off the simulation. They know exactly where the stimulation is coming from. They need thousands and thousands of reps before you can correct them for getting into a fight. It's absolutely most safe way to do everything. So the first step is to muzzle condition your dogs to a high degree. The second step is to train your dogs to a very high degree of control. Make sure as soon as you say something, within one to, to four seconds max, your dog is completing that task. And, and then the third step would be to use the proper training tools. Um, I guess if you wanna add a fourth step in, it, have proper management of the situation. You're not just gonna have the proper training tools, have the pro lifestyle, slash management, whatever you want to call it, and training are married. They go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Once all this is done, you're going to slowly integrate your dogs back together, right? And, and don't, um, don't be like, oh my God, I put them back together and they, they instantly hate each other. You have to give it some time once you start integrating them back together. You're working on coexistence first, right? You have to get them to coexist. Within the, the, within the next few months, you'll know. You, you'll know if this is gonna work. 
you'll know if you need to make changes, you'll, you'll know. Um, but slowly start to integrate them back together and have a proper management plan in place. It's really that simple. It, it's very, it's simple, it sounds simple, but it's very, very time consuming. Like I said, something like this does cost a lot of money if you're going through a professional um, because it's, it's a very time consuming case and it's dangerous. Anything involving aggression, two dogs fighting, um, any anything surrounding aggression is very dangerous for someone to work with. And that pretty much summarizes without getting extremely complex my thoughts on two dogs fighting in the home. If you like the advice in this video, hit the subscribe button for more. Um, tune in for the next video.